Ooh, head headshot right through the wall. Man, this MTAR is so fire. Oh my goodness, the silencer sounds even better, man. Oh, putting the silencer with the MTAR is no joke. And I'm camping in this little spot. I mean, look at the camo I got on the MTAR. Oh, ooh, ooh, close fire. Oh, danger close. Almost died right there. Oh, and it's chaotic over here. Oh, stop making noise. Got a UAV. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, this gun is beastly, man. Look at this. Oh, they flashed me. Oh, there it goes. The, the, the fun stops. <laughs> the streak stops. Just like that. Oh, and they destroyed my UAV. So Cold War just got Nuketown as a map. So I thought, what is, what is the best thing to do? Well, I thought playing Black Ops 2 on Nuketown is the best thing to do, which was fun, believe it or not. I mean, I'm using the MTAR with the silencer, the best, probably the best class ever created, man. The MTAR is just so nice. Oh, I hear noise over here. Uh-oh, oh. oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I mean, look at the triple I just dropped. Goodness, this gun. They don't make weapons like this anymore. But that's enough music. What do we want to talk about today? Yes, the title. You read the title right. Sorry, this is not a Black Ops 2 gameplay. But this is this video is about skill-based matchmaking. And if you don't know what skill-based matchmaking is, I know y'all have heard of it. I know some of y'all heard of it. Many YouTubers talking about it. I'm not a big YouTuber, so y'all must have heard the big YouTubers talk about this. But skill-based matchmaking is something they applied to the game, which is probably the worst thing they've ever done in Call of Duty. But it's something that they put in the game. If you do good, they they put you in lobbies that people pl that with people that plays the same as you. <laughs> so if you drop a six KD one one game, you get put in a lobby where people that drop six KD go against you. So which makes the game it gets harder. The better you do, the more the more hard the harder it gets. So. Uh, it's so bad to the point where even pro players are complaining about skill-based matchmaking. But then I'm asking myself, how in the world are they complaining about skill-based matchmaking? If we got a Korean Savage, you, we got Swag, dropping nuclears and dropping, you know, good, they're having good game every video. How are the pro players complaining? I've even seen a guy on Twitter talk about how did he have a 7KD in Cold War. A 7KD? The pro players <laughs> don't even have a 2KD. How are these pro players complaining? Well, the reason they complain is because they're not reverse boosting. <laughs> That's just the simple fact. And if you don't know what reverse boosting is, it's something... Uh, exploiting the skill-based matchmaking i mean korean savage is not gonna tell you so i'll tell you reverse boosting is when you trash your account like oh, look at these snipers man you trash your account and by um dying for like five games like you do bad you have a terrible kd like a zero point something or zero kd you trash your uh, your your stats for like five games or six games. People did this in Modern Warfare 2019 too. You trash your stats, and then the game thinking that you're bad, like the game thinking that you're bad, so it puts you in a bad lobby. But the thing is, you are actually good at the game already. So you you go against noobs or as the kids say, straight bots, and you you just you know drop a nuke. So that is just exploiting and cheating your way up to a nuke instead of 
actually playing the game, which that, that I understand where they do it, man, because to this point, skill based matchmaking, this is what skill based matchmaking have us doing. They have us cheating our way to get to do good. I mean, in order for them to do, I mean, OK, you. so I'm not saying Korean savage and swag is not good at the game because they are. But skill based matchmaking prevent them from doing better if they continue playing good. So they reverse boost and then they, you know, they are here, they drop a nuke. And I've seen somebody explain it right on Twitter. I think I'll put it on the screen if I find it. But he he explained it right. And he says that's how that's how these guys make millions. I mean, do I have to reverse boost in order to make a million views? <laughs> I might just have to reverse boost. <laughs> but I think I'm joking. I don't think I'm going to go and buy Code of War for like $70 just so I can reverse boost. Nah. But these guys, that's how they do it, man. They reverse boost. That, that's, how they, that's how they get these awesome gameplays that you see. I mean, Black Ops 2, I don't have to reverse boost. I'm, I just get on and I just play casually. You know, I beast. So that's just how it is, man. These guys... They're cheating their way up. And you got the pro players crying, bro, about skill-based matchmaking. You know it's real when you got pro players crying. So then who is doing better than the pro players? Who is beasting this this much that they're, they're frustrating the pro players like this? I don't know, man. If you got skump complaining about skill-based matchmaking, you know it's bad. But, I mean, this also, I was thinking about this. Everybody keep asking remaster Black Ops 2, remaster Black Ops 1. But if you think about it, do you really want Black Ops 2 to be remastered? Because they're just going to apply skill-based matchmaking in that fixed skill-based matchmaking, right? Which go- going to ruin the game. Am I am I lying? Am I not telling the truth? Like I was thinking about this. I'm like, I always wanted them to remaster old games, but what if they just put in uh, skill-based matchmaking? Like, uh, if you remember COD 4 Remastered, they applied skill-based matchmaking to that game. Do do we really want uh, for them to remaster some games? I don't know, man. I At this point, Activision is trolling, man. They don't care. They just want to grab that money. I told you guys this. They just want money, bro. They know what they're doing. They know this market. They know how to market it. And this is an awesome business idea if you think about it. (laughs) They know that we're going to buy the new Call of Duty anyways. And they know we're going to complain. They're not going to fix it. Then they're going to drop a new Call of Duty next year. And then we're going to complain about it. We're going to buy it, first of all. And then we're going to complain about that. (laughs) And then they're going to keep repeating this over and over. And continue getting more money and more money. And I also hear people... Uh, defending skill-based matchmaking. Is this even real life, bro? I've read a comment where somebody is defending skill-based matchmaking. You gotta suck if you defending skill-based matchmaking, man. Skill-based matchmaking is to help noobs. You gotta suck at Call of Duty if you defending the skill-based matchmaking. But, man, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you, man. These guys, we got Korean Savage, even Dismo. I know Dismo reverse boosting. He just don't want to admit it. But if that's if that's how it is, man. I, I mean, like I said, I don't think I want them to remaster these games if that's what they're going to do. If they're going to apply, you know, loot crates, loot boxes, and skill-based matchmaking. There's no point in remastering these games, man, if you think about it. I hope you guys understood what I'm saying. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the Black Ops 2 gameplay in the back. Um, I'm not going to ask for likes. If y'all like the video, y'all just like it. That's up to y'all. And subscribing, y'all do that if y'all want. Check out my other videos. (sighs) Please get rid of skill-based matchmaking Activision.